happens day in and day out in a film is um, we all start a film thinking we're all going to be completely prepared about the film. But that's not how it is. There are many, many unexpected things that happen in a film. Um, reshuffling of dates is a very, very big thing. Somebody who is not supposed to come in will suddenly come in because they've got a week to give or suddenly this will get cancelled out or suddenly they will have Canadian visa and will want to do a song somewhere else. Yes, happens all the time, which is why uh, I think uh, many, many weekends we continue working because something will be urgently needed on Monday morning. And uh, this is the rule of the game. If you have to work in the industry here, then you know you have to handle a certain amount of chaos. You have to be prepared for last minute requests, last minute changes and you have to learn to think on your feet. That's the only way to play this. From And everybody deals with it right from the top to the bottom. I mean uh, a producer probably suddenly is being asked for money a director probably is suddenly reshuffling the dates. The cameraman has to quit something else he's doing because something is happening here and you know the visa has come through. So at every level the unexpectedness crops in, you know, the unpredictability of this this profession crops in. And everybody has to be prepared to push whatever they're doing aside and just continue with this. In every film this happens, in every film. We uh, we just handled this kind of a situation about five days ago where we suddenly had a party sequence. We, uh, we knew it was coming but uh, this was not confirmed to us and therefore we scurried around three people running in four directions, putting it together. They had problems, these artists were not confirmed till the last moment, measurements had not come. If you ask any designer this, they will say this is happening in their life as well. This is how it works. Yes, all of us, all de designers in Chennai at least, there will always be last minute things to do overnight. Uh, nobody escapes it. I think um, Manisha in uh, Karnalane, Bombay, uh, Aishwarya in Kandakunde in the White. For Kaka Kaka, we did a white sari with a red print for Jyotika, which, never, which was not there in the film, but that is one image that kind of stays in my head. Uh, Vijay's um, costumes uh, for the foreign songs in Pokiri, you know, we gave him flowered shirts, printed flowered shirts with blazers and uh, I felt that was something very new and very, very young. Uh, that's something I, I, I cannot uh, get out of my my mind, you know. Or um, Nayantara's uh, first time we tried giving her long gowns in Satyam. This is a song they shot in Turkey, and we did some brilliant colors for her in that, you know. Uh, I remember a uh, turquoise blue that we did for her, which they shot against a completely white background. I don't know whether it was ice or limestone or whatever, but maybe it was a white beach. I don't remember what the background really was, but it was shot in Turkey. And uh, I still cannot forget uh, that image of her in this uh, blue long flowing gown or Rajni sir's uh, 
the image of Rajini sir in uh, Kuselan as the Egyptian king. Uh, I had fun doing that costume and I had fun watching them as they wore it and did that song. You know, both Nayantara as well as Rajini sir. <laughs> Uh, currently, we're doing, uh, we're finishing up, almost finishing up uh, Kavalkaran for uh, Vijay. We uh, we finished one schedule of Vela Yudham and uh, uh, come October, I think we start the second schedule. Uh, we're doing some background work, uh, pre-production work for Vinay Tandi Barvaya, Hindi for Gautam and um, his Nadunisi Nigel is almost coming to an end. So these are our current projects. Also. Yeah, I'm still waiting for some director to call me for a period film. I've never had the opportunity to work on a period film and I think uh, me and uh, the two people who work with me, without whom uh, I cannot cre take credit for everything I do without them. You know, uh, Shobhana and Harikesh are also dying to do a period film with uh, with me, and I'm hoping before this time next year that somebody calls me for it. That's my ultimate dream as far as my profession is concerned. <laughs>